Welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Inscription Casey's Mod. This be part 16 of our Let's Play, and guys, I think we've got it this time. Um, based on absolutely nothing. But we are back, we're using the same deck again. We're gonna figure it out. Um, I think the easy pick here is Mantis and Wolf Cub. Um, we know that's a good build. Uh, if we can just sacrifice the Mantis onto the Wolf Cub, like, instantly, that is a good play. Um, bit annoying that we have to take a pack rat immediately, but it's not the worst card in the world. It's just kind of subpar. Alright, how are we doing here? Uh, Wolf Cub straight away. So we got, yeah, there's a rabbit coming in, although the Wild Bull will move the other one around. Should be kind of okay. We'll bring out the Mantis God just to deal a bit of damage. And we should get an easy win here. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah, we will definitely get an easy win. I might... Pull a tooth. Okay, we're gonna pull a tooth, then we're going to... I can't sacrifice the opossum, can I? No. Hmm. Well, actually, if I sacrifice these two and put the pack right here, it's the same shit. Okay, and that's a squirrel. Um... I don't think we have an item for a little bit, so that's probably okay. Yeah, so we could get an item. Alright, the question is, do we want to... Do we want to sacrifice or do we want to get rid of one of these ringworms? And I think the answer is we want to get rid of one of these ringworms. Um, Direwolf Puppy, definitely. Because we have another sacrifice up there. Like, sacrifices are all the time. Um, these things are... A bit harder to judge. Nice! Okay. Boom. We got rid of one ringworm. Perfect. Let's move on. Okay. So yeah, Raven a wild bull. Okay, we do have a wolf cub straight away. Which is damn good. Next turn I might use a bottled squirrel to get us a direwolf puppy. Oh shit, the wild bull went that way. Uh, if that's the case, I'm definitely going to... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to bring out a uh, pack rat. And I'm going to kill this wild bull. And another bottled squirrel. Kind of okay, actually. Um, I don't think I need it. I think I just sacrificed the pack rat. Because now he becomes a full-size direwolf. Uh, take a playable card. Ringworm. Perfect. Means I don't care. Okay. Off to a good start. I think we'll take the random card. I hate these because it's hard to remember what is... We'll take the wolf card because he can probably hit... Hit it with the mycologist at one point. Okay, so we are definitely going to use the mantis with the wolf cub. Because we know that the mantis is a good ability. We have a double sacrifice coming up. Ooh, and we have a campfire. I think the campfire is a better pick. It's hard to argue with just having consistent damage. Okay, so he's gonna do two damage. Which doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, we'll just put the Mantis God here. Raven can't move. Nice. And now we can outpace the Raven. Just let this happen. Again. Like, the Mantis uh, Wolf Pup is really strong. Um, we're going to go this way, because we're going to see if we can get a wolf. Boom. Coyote. Not too bad. Bit of a glass cannon, but she'll be right. If we get a health one here... 
uh, which we do, we could pump this into what the coyote maybe. Now it's a five-two. I mean, that's suddenly a really good card. That's something worth sacrificing things onto. Uh, what the hell do we even sacrifice here? Probably the pack rat onto, like, the other wolf cub? Because if we fuse the two wolf cubs... Yeah, suddenly it's a wolf cub that's also got this and the split attack. And that's a frightening proposition. We don't have many great items for this battle. But maybe we can get something done. Okay, we haven't even seen the trapper in this one. Okay, what have we got here? There's actually a frog in the middle. It's gonna attack the one. So I don't want to throw out the direwolf puppy. But if I... He's gonna do one. Bit of an awkward position to be in, actually. How much health do you have? He has two health. Yeah. No, we need to start doing some damage though. Um, I think we have to bring out this wolf cub in a subpar position. Unless we can clear this strange frog, which I guess we can, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, actually if we do that... He attacks. Right. I don't really need to pull squirrels at the moment. I'm kind of okay with it. So if we now bring out a coyote... Like... Here? We can also... Actually, he does one damage. Kind of alright. We let the coyote get get munched. And actually maybe we do Well if I do what? If I put the Well if I put the direwolf pup. Okay, if I put the direwolf pup. Uh, here instantly he gets to evolve. We are going to take one damage, but then after that I think we stabilize. Coyote's dead, but that gives us a wolf pelt, which we kind of want. Yeah, so see, now we stabilize. And now we can do something like... This... Because then we can literally just grab a squirrel, throw out a ringworm right here. Easy peasy. See, now we just put this guy here, right? No. Or we just win with that one. So we have two wolf pelts at the moment, which I think is enough to secure victory here. Because, yeah, all we have to do, I guess, is grab, what, these two. Uh, I can also just go Flying Ant and Worker Ant. And that will definitely guarantee the win. Oof. Ouch, six overflow. That hurt. That, that hurt for him. Okay, don't really want Ouroboros, um, it's kind of the only thing I got. I guess a strange lava is actually not too bad. Um, if we can keep it alive even in that last battle, like Mothman is pretty badass. That'll kill the moon in, what, five hits? Which is way more than the moon can do to us. Ah, uh, Skink's a pretty good card. 
Plus drop tail's a good ability. Okay, which way are we going here? I think we do go up the fire trail. Because you have a fire, then a battle, then, what was it, items? Um, more damage. Well, I mean, the obvious pick is the Mantis God, but I think, actually, we want to put more damage on, like, the Wolf Cub. Because now he does three in a split. Which... Works pretty well. Well, actually, well, I guess he does six in a split, right? Okay, we got the shitty wolf cub, but maybe that's fine. Wolf cubs are just so good because they are an investment. Like, one damage, if you can place it down, is not too bad. But you throw the three damage wolf immediately after that. And that is a strong boy. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of... Okay, well, our wolf is going to die. But maybe we can kill this flying ant first. So, Mud Turtle. Actually, Mud Turtle's a pretty good card. Had not considered it. Uh, right, the problem here, obviously, is the damage coming in. So I could pinch the Mud Turtle and sacrifice him for the Wolf Cub. If I think that's necessary. So this is one damage. So we're going to take three at the moment. Which we can survive. Now I could just block with a Ringworm, but I don't think we're going to bother. Um, sacrificing for the Ringworm doesn't really achieve anything either. So I think we just let this slide. We are going to take one damage here. Oh, I'm dead. I forgot about the flying ant. I didn't I didn't look at that. Oops. Well there's the old there's the old throw. Okay, I don't think we're against succeeding in this. Uh what blood health. Our health is actually ugh. I mean, it's not a lot that, like, this is probably the one we'd most likely to fail. Um, this, like, half our deck does that, and Sacrifice. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we only have one double, so as long as we don't get the Direwolf pup, we can actually fail this. Okay, we did. Oh, well, we get a creature. That's not too bad. Um, ooh... That is a scary card. Holy shit, that's strong. I don't know if anyone else had a good look at that. I'll, I'll take us through it in a sec. But, oh boy. That is rough. Um, actually, this tail splitting is really good for all these weak cards. Probably for the direwolf pup, actually. Makes him more survivable. Okay, so let's have a look at that card I just pulled. That is... A worker ant, so base worker ant, gets stronger for every ant you have. So one, then two, then three, then four. Boom. But notably this one is a one sacrifice, it is worth a triple sacrifice, and it has fecundity. Which means that every time it's played, I get another worker ant, I get another copy of this card. Meaning that it kind of maintains itself. Once I get this worker ant out, I can bring a new one out every turn. And just bump its damage up to four like that. That is a scary card. And the perfect counter to like the Prospector's smashing thing. Because obviously you're always going to have one. Um, right, that Rattler is kind of scary. And we do not have any cards to deal with it. Because we have this stupid Ringworm in our opening hand. But you know what? This might be the perfect opportunity to use the... The grabber. I think we do want to grab him. Three damage is... Well, it's really fucking good. So we do three, they do... One, two, three, four. But that's okay, because we are on top. Oh, we don't even do that much damage, actually. Because our Rattler dies. Which is not good. Oh, 
we still don't have enough for a coyote. I think we might actually be dead here. Unless we play this really smart. So, they're going to do 4, guaranteed, plus 3. So, they're going to do 7 damage. I think we are fucked. Which sucks. So, 7 damage. I can only take 3. So, I have to block 4 damage. Now, it's very doable. It's just not fun. So, what I'd have to do is put... Uh, yeah. So I'd have to put the dire wolf pup here. Or I just throw out a couple of squirrels. Actually... Well, actually, if I kill this guy, I drop two damage, and then I just have to block here. So what I'll actually do is we're going to double sacrifice... Ooh, although the adder's going to chase us. Which works out even better, actually. So I'm going to put him there, and then Coyote here. So Coyote is going to kill the alpha. Rattler tries to attack, and gets a tail instead. And now our dire wolf is a thick boy, who don't take no shit. Um, I can just chomp block there. So, our coyote is dead, but the dire wolf is now fully activated. Which I think in the grand scheme of things is actually okay. Because I can just block here. Um, I do four damage, he does one. Whew! That was close. That was close. Uh, that was... The only way we won that is clever use of their game mechanics. Um, cockroach is a good sacrifice. Maybe we start playing the Mud Turtle. I've seen it played, and I think every time it comes out on the field, I fucking hate it. <laughs> I, I hate that the enemy has it, so... Maybe that means that that's what I want. Um, this is a no-brainer, by the way. Not only does it thin our deck out, it makes a 4-2 Wolf Cub, meaning it can now survive those one damage hits, which is what it's terrified of to begin with. It also does... 8 damage, if I can put it in a position to just hit the enemy. Um, that is scary. Of course, I didn't get it. Um, right, so this, I'm going to take 3 damage here, which is not actually that bad. I think I just throw out the Mantis God. I take 3 damage. Um, I deal 3 damage, so that kind of stops this. Now, as long as I don't kill that Kingfisher, which I physically can't, I don't bring out the Sparrow. So at the moment, we're going to deal 2 damage, and block 1, he's going to deal 1, 2, 3. Which is not good, but it will let us go long enough to get out the Direwolf pop. It is risky... Because what I'm concerned with is what he's going to lay down in that lane, is what I was just about to say. Um, okay. Let's have a look here. Let's assess this. So this turn, I kill him, I do 2 damage, and then kill him. So now I'm only taking 1, 2, and then 3, 4. So I do 2, 1, 2, I take 4, I'm on 1 health, but my Dire Wolf is ready. And won't be attacked by the Raven. Actually, I do three damage this turn, sorry. Okay, Coyote is bad. But I can just chump block him or throw out my own Coyote. Oh, actually, that's even better. So one, two, three, four, but I do one, two, three, four, five, six. Easy, easy win. Yeah, Coyote can't kill my Coyote. So who cares about that? Uh, sure, we'll just bring out a rim, Ring Worm for shits and giggles. 
Okay. I need to get rid of this ringworm. Um, do I want to sacrifice? I don't think so. Like, maybe put the mud turtle on what? Like, the coyote, maybe? Actually, mud turtle on the mantis might be the play. But if I go this way... I can buff something. Maybe I can buff the ringworm to be useful. Uh, no. Give me a single dot. Okay, double dot it is. A bloodhound. Okay, a bloodhound's fine. This deck's getting a little sacrifice heavy, which I'm not into. Okay, damage. Alright. That makes the ringworm a semi-useful playable card. It is no worse than a coyote at this point. And, look, coyotes are fine. Um, we're definitely, I think we're going to put the old block one hit on the Mantis God. Um, because if we can do that once again, there's another card we can just throw in front and see what happens. The Mantis God is really good. His main downside is dying instantly and not getting multiple turns out. Ah, oh, I got that ringworm out. It's really not, not it. So I think we're going to have to play the Mantis God. I need some items, actually, is what I really need. I need it so bad. Uh, yeah. Don't take him, please. Take that one. Because you can just take that Kingfisher and fuck off. Thank you. Very, very helpful. Uh, Kingfisher is going to come back immediately. Uh, unless I play out the Ringworm right here. In which case I score a double kill. And it's a win. Now this is actually not as scary as it looks. Because I think I'm just going to double sacrifice for the Direwolf Pop. Because the Direwolf Pop should actually counter the Chum Bucket. Okay, that's not very helpful. Because even if a Chum Bucket comes out here, which it, it won't, because we just won, but it would have hit it once, killed it, and then hit the shark and killed the shark. Which, you know, is damn good, like, economy that, that sorts it out. Um, maybe? We actually haven't seen that strange lava at all. How the hell do we manage that? Okay. I'm a bit concerned our deck's getting a bit bit heavy now. Black Goat, I think, is is definitely king. Okay. I kind of want this Mycologist. And I think we have to go items. We we don't have any, and that is just not like, just not it, Chief. Um, bones are not terrible. This, I think, is more generically useful. Okay, well, we just take the same decision again, I suppose. Um, boulders are great. They also don't work against flying creatures, which sucks. Um, maybe we should take this again. Like, the, the single push is not actually that bad. That's often the difference between winning and losing. Ah, oh, there's the strange lava that I'd never seen. Okay, shit. We can take four damage and instantly die. Uh, so with that in mind... I mean, we can block the porcupine. We do two damage with the... Okay, we can do two damage with the ringworm. So I think we block the porcupine here with the strange lava. I take three damage. And see, once again, right? This is what I'm saying about the difference between winning and losing. So I can just throw uh, this ringworm out here. Kill the wolf, kill myself. And if I take one tooth out, I survive. And now suddenly we have the Mothman, who is actually going to die like 
instantly. <laughs> Seven damage is not enough, is it? We can get nine damage, which I don't think is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, it is exactly enough. Oh no, wait, we can't get nine damage. Because we'd have to sacrifice something. Which we can't do. Oh, if I'd taken the pig with the bones, we'd pull a win out here. I don't know if we've lost. I mean, we've probably lost next turn is the thing, right? Because we're going to take two, three, four. And then we have no real way of dealing with anything on the field here. Um... Hmm, okay. Let me let me get the big thonk out here. Cause we need to deal with the wolf cub, that's that's the real issue here. Well I think next turn we can deal with the wolf cub, right? Okay, I think we just have to pull this and see what happens. The Mantis God. Okay, I don't think it's that useful in this situation. So this time we're gonna take one. Two, three, four. But we're gonna do seven. So if I did that. If we did that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd be one short. I don't think it's worth doing that just yet. So let's play the turn out. Now the Mothman's gonna die. But. We can deal with the Alpha. Yeah, so we can deal with this alpha. We can play out the Mantis God... ...here? To deal with the Wolf Cub. Oh, but that still loses us the game. Oh no, it doesn't. Ooh. So if we can actually keep these two here, because they only do one damage each, that's actually kind of shit. Um... So we take two damage this turn, but we deal two damage. So I think we actually want to take this. Of course we got the direwolf pup. The one thing we really did not want. Because the mold doesn't matter. Although if we get something that does two damage, we could kill the porcupine and the wolf cub. Well, actually, if I take this... Okay, Strange Lava. That'll work. So if I pull one tooth... I'll be on one health. Which ain't good. Don't get me wrong. And actually, I think has cost me the game? Because I don't have any more tricks. Now the coyote's not going to kill the mole. Oh, sorry, the coyote will kill the mole, but zero damage. And then even if I block the porcupine, that's not enough. Because I'm going to take one damage and lose. So... There's really no point sacrificing the direwolf pup just for the loss, basically. So if I deal one damage but take two, it doesn't really matter. Same result. Now the strange lava can't block the flyer. Can block the porcupine, but that's irrelevant. Actually, wait, if I block the porcupine here and then activate flying, the coyote will avoid the mole? Does two damage, take one? Suddenly not an awful play. 
Okay, so there's the wolf cub that I need. Um, he does do four damage, which is enough to kill both of these piles. So, boom. We win. Oh, it doesn't actually kill both piles. Sorry. That could have almost been been a tragedy, but now I do seven damage a turn, so... We're, we're good now. We're, we're, we're good. Seven, seven damage is pretty, pretty strong. We did have to use literally every single item that we gained, but now we have scissors, and scissors are probably one of the strongest items you can get to just delete that card that's going to lose you the game. Four damage we can definitely do. Um, I think six health is definitely doable. It's probably the sacrifice at this point. Again, like... We have a couple of doubles, but as long as we don't get them, then we're good. We don't have a duplicate, do we? Oh, we do. We have the Strange Lava. Amazing. We'll fuse those up. That's a six damage boy. A six health boy, sorry. Oh, God. Can a Strange Lava even evolve like that? <laughs> For splice together? I, f I feel like the answer's not a hope in hell. Okay, wolves drop tails. That's not super good. Oh, a couple of porcupines. That's actually pretty normal. Uh, yeah, we'll bring out the ringworm straight away and just do two damage. He does one, I do two. Bish bash bosh, we're in the lead. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take this. Ooh, a direwolf pup. Now, I take one damage, he deals two. So I think the ringworm's actually worth keeping. Because I might, I might chop that direwolf. Yeah? Because if I chop the dire wolf, bonk, and then we use the squirrel to bring out the black goat to bring out the dire wolf pup, one damage, digs a bone, now we can play the... we can play the coyote if we want, maybe sacrifice to something good, but we don't have that, so we will just throw out the coyote there. I deal two damage, he deals one to me. Ooh, he is going to move my dire wolf though. I think it's okay. Because we'll be in such a lead that he kind of is fine there. Because, like, once again, this direwolf pup, he ain't surviving to adulthood. He, he's getting real murdered as a child. Because <laughs> uh, he comes up, attacks my coyote, it does one damage, it turns around and twats him for two. He's dead. Um, this one, it will evolve, and then it hits for two. Ooh, actually, this wolf. Ah, uh, the dire wolf can take the wolf. I think we're pretty okay with the trade that's happening right now. Ooh, Mantis God would be even... No, not even better because of the porcupine. Okay, so dire wolf kind of sucks. But can be handled by doing okay I'm not as happy about this trade now I mean this wolf is dead so at the moment on our turn we kill the dial of pup do a damage here which I think will damage him once doesn't really matter nothing will happen here Mantis God here would be actually top tier. I think this is our trade. Yeah, it does do one damage. That's very annoying. Yeah, there we go. I thought so. I'm like, does the math check out? I'm like, we've, we've got to win that. And we do. Okay. I think we just keep going the the health one. Ooh, five bones. I think is actually impossible for us to complete. It is. So we're gonna take five bones, please. Oh no. 
Oh, I got the coyote out, so that's good, but nah. Nah, no, no, no wins for the, wins for the little thing goblin. Okay, we're gonna get wolves, but I don't think we're gonna get another totem, so, bit of a moot point. That is not a fun totem to have. Also, I think we are going to get overwhelmed very rapidly here unless we have something really good like a wolf cub. Boom. I win. I get an item. Eat shit. Leshy. Next, please. If we get that wolf cub out, like, we, we have one. Ooh. Maybe field mice. I think there's a combo we can make there with the, uh... Oh my god, we can sacrifice field mice onto something. What do we even sacrifice it onto? We could put it on the strange lava. We could pull on the black goat. And maybe that is a better choice. Or maybe we just want something that's that is actually infinite. Because put on the black goat, that's really cool and all. That'll let us get out all of our two drops. But we we uh, don't we we can't use this in the final battle, right? Doesn't do anything. Completely pointless. So I think we do want to copy something, but. Like, what? Because none of these are a good pick. Honestly, I think the ringworm's the best pick. But, like, coyote, uh, that's good if we can get bones. Um, strange lava, awesome, but requires a sacrifice, requires time. Might be something we don't have. Bloodhound, it's a two drop. I don't think that's worthwhile. Black goat, it's great. Let's us do our two drops. We don't have that many. So, I think we might go the ringworm. Because at least then, it's a single drop, it does two damage, that means we can just bring out a squirrel, throw it out, nuke something with two health, done. Like, it dies, we bring out another one, rinse and repeat all day long. Uh, we're going to take the black goat. Because that kind of protects us from two drop starvation. Just having that black goat in our pocket. So I think we're going to be okay here. I think we'll be alright. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, we got the strange lava straight away. Now, that is not a great starting pick. Uh, I think we just let this thing damage us for three. We do have the ringworm straight up, which... is kind of fine. Can I find my sigils? Got it too powerful, no doubt, but please, no more of that. Huh? Oh my god! Oh, they broke the OP thing! Oh no! That is crippling! I mean, it was absolutely overpowered. Um, like... Miles overpowered. Oh, come on, you snake asshole. Oh, that is such a dick move. Okay, well, in that case... I guess we just have to do that. I should have just sacrificed it, actually, because it's dead anyway. At least this way it blocks a hit, I guess. That is such a dick move. Okay, there's a coyote. Um, we can bring him out to do some damage. Gets rid of that snack. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, that is so annoying. Like, don't get me wrong, I agree. That's, that was a massively overpowered ability. Um, no doubt. No doubt at all. Um, is this a good trade? He kills us, does one damage. Surely we can bring out something to beat it. I think that's all of our two drops, so we can always sacrifice something.
actually, this is kind of okay, because we just put him here. Now that's three damage. Now he's going to try and attack me and it's going to shift. So we are nearly winning. So we kill that. If I just chomp block this. Blocked, dead, blocked, three damage. Should be fine. And then we have a whole handful of cards. Okay. We are in a pretty precarious position now, but the Rattler can kill a wolf. If I take a squirrel, so we'll bring the Rattler out straight away. I kind of don't want to kill this. I'm, I'm okay with this uh, wolf here. <laughs> Three damage is a lot better than the alternative. Um... Yeah, so I think we're just going to double sacrifice a squirrel for a bloodhound and get it to kill the wolf. So dead, dead, and four damage. Now I do four damage, which puts me in a win. Whew. It's going a bit of a longer one, but this is a bit of a grind. Means we might have to save the last episode for... Oh, sorry, fi fi bleh, leave the final battle for the last episode. Sorry, last battle for the next episode. God. Brain is mush. Too much thinking. Okay, so once again, if I do this... he does. I do one, he does three, two damage there, but then suddenly I start doing four every turn. And as long as I keep that Bloodhound there, it's fine. I guess I can cut him up if I'm super worried, which I'm not. Hmm. Or am I in a bit of a pickle? I Again, I can just chop him. So I do four. He does three, four. Five, six. Yeah, that's not not a great goal. But if I chop him, it doesn't actually help much. Aside from I don't take... I take four instead of six, which is still not very helpful. I think I gotta chop him, though. So, two, four. But now I take four as well. I take this, it's a worker ant, which is now suddenly not super powerful, right? Because he no longer duplicates endlessly, which is very annoying. Okay, but I think if I throw out this worker ant, that should be a win. Four, six. It'll be an exact win. <sighs> Jesus. That was a battle. What rare do we get? If it's another goddamn... Ooh, second Mantis God? Probably not that useful. I think the Ouroboros in the final battle is going to be way better. So, okay, if if we can put the Black Goat onto Ouroboros, we kind of can't lose, right? No, because when we sacrifice Ouroboros... Yeah, we, you can't sacrifice an Ouroboros for another one, because you need two. So maybe items are the answer. We can lose, because the Ouroboros is too expensive. Hmm. I'm kind of confident, but kind of not. Okay, I'm going to take this. 
And then maybe a squirrel in a bottle. You know what? Fuck it, we're doing the last battle. I think we'll blitz through it. We'll, we'll either, like, grind away at it, or we'll blitz through it. That's kind of where we're at. If I can win this first turn in one go, I think we're good. That's gonna be the real answer. Can we... blitz this in one turn? Now we do have the wolf cub. But... The wolf cub is actually kind of bad, because as soon as we bring out the wolf cub, he's going to get stomped. So, I think the better play is to bring out Ouroboros right here. Because he moves, blocks that... Blocks that, uh... Let's see. So, I think we're just going to bring out playable cards here. So, I think this is fine. Yeah, because he does that. I'll be honest, the, uh, the Amalgam and Mantis God Rush is pretty harsh. And we can't get an insta-kill here. He will turn into a wolf, but will it be enough? Because suddenly, if I kill him, I'm taking one blocked, two, three blocked, five blocked, six, nine. Jesus, nine damage. And I'm already nearly dead. So I think we are in serious trouble. Um, I guess if I can kill a Mantis God, we are set up. So I can kill a Mantis God. So I think I have to draw a Squirrel here. Because if we can kill this Mantis God, Then, like, if we summon the Ouroboros here, we can kill that Mantis God. And then we can probably sacrifice it for the Wolf Cub, and we're in a pretty good position. We're going to have to use both of these. This is probably a bad move. Ah, oh, sorry. Black Goat. Uh, into an Ouroboros. Because we can't play out the uh, Direwolf Pup because it will just get uh, stinkified by the Mantis God. But Ouroboros will just do one damage, which is all we need. And then we can throw out a Squirrel here to block the Amalgam. It also stops the... Ooh, but now... Okay, wait, we just take a squirrel. Okay. We take a squirrel, we... Sacrifice the Ouroboros for the wolf cub? And then we... Do this. Correct? Because he's going to steal my squirrel. But now he can't bring out that... Oh, no! I didn't have enough uh, health to swing that. That's annoying. That's very annoying. God, I want to rewind. I want to rewind that. That one. That one damage. Man, that is tough. I think I've identified what the problem is now. Like, I'm just gonna say. Um, let's let's go back here for a sec. Um, ignoring this deck, which I don't think is that bad. I think it's this. I think this, like, kicks your ass in the last battle. Because the, the Mantis God Rush is brutal. Because it's... How do you fight when your entire board is under attack at the same time? And there's only ten ticks in it. So even if you take two ticks every turn... 
that's that's enough. Like that is gonna destroy you. So can we actually build something that doesn't involve these two cards? Either of these two. I think we can, right? We just do this. That's 50. I, I think these are the problem. So if we said regular cards instead of rares, all regulars replaced with totem battles, which is not too bad. Um, I guess I'm going to do that plus that. Do we take these four instead? I think that's it. I, I'm guessing it's these things that are messing up that final battle. And I'll bet you in the next run we are going to have to take one of these. There'll be no way we can swing it because we probably unlock like this. Oh well. But guys, we are going to leave this episode here. Next time we've got it. We, we so close to had it that time. If we had just like two more health, we would have been okay. But alas, it was not meant to be. So guys, thank you very much for watching this extended one. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.